Adobe is ready to take image manipulation to the next level by clashing imagination with the latest in generative AI technology, opening doors to a world full of possibilities and some concerns. The Adobe Summit 2023 was buzzing with excitement as Adobe Firefly made its grand entrance. It stole the spotlight amidst a whirlwind of new products and announcements. With Firefly's launch, Adobe boldly jumped into the world of generative AI, proving once again that they're the true pioneers of innovation in the digital creative industry. I mean, Photoshop is 30 years old, and it is the best image editing software in the market. Anyone who wants to learn digital arts starts with Photoshop. So, the question is, have they created a new Photoshop? Is this truly the new world? Let's find out. There were a lot of guesses and hush-hush talks about Adobe jumping in with an AI but no one thought it would get here this fast and be this good. What's different about Adobe's approach is that it's decentralized compared to other AIs like DALI, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion. In a centralized system, only one entity is responsible for making decisions and developing the AI. But in a decentralized system, multiple entities can work together to improve and develop the AI. This allows for a greater variety of ideas and perspectives, which leads to more innovation. So goodbye complex UIs. Goodbye spending hours neatly drawing selection lines along the edges and say hello to a world where anyone can be a master image manipulator at the touch of a button. Veteran creators and Photoshop masters can use this amazing tech to concoct worlds we've never even seen before. And beginners have zero barriers and zero excuses not to become a master. Seriously, the way this AI can manipulate your image is mind-bogglingly cool. It feels like you're in a sci-fi TV show. It's super futuristic. You can add to an image, remove objects, or even extend an image. It's a great time to be a creator, and it would be a waste if you didn't download Photoshop and give it a go. If you're into all things AI, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop and never miss out on the latest mind-blowing advancements in the world of artificial intelligence. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're always the first to know. What is Firefly? And what is Generative Fill? Before we continue, let's clarify something. Firefly is the name of the AI engine, and the tool we'll talk about in this video is Generative Fill, because that's exactly what this tool does. It supercharges photo manipulation by using the power of Firefly. You can create backgrounds, add objects, and change your image in any way you like in a non-destructive way. Every addition you make is created on a new layer, so you can go back a step or take manual control of each layer. You are opening more paths to unique artwork. Plus, it gives you three variations of each prompt you give, so you have a choice and pick the one that best suits your need. All you need is a base image to start your masterpiece, and a touch of imagination. You can always get an image from Midjourney, a stock photo, or snap one from your smartphone. Then you select areas you want to manipulate and give it a text prompt. And in a few seconds, voila, you created something fantastic. Or if you're stuck, just hit the generate button and Photoshop will fill it up for you, along with the shadows, lighting, and reflections, removing all the mundane, time-wasting tasks that no one wants to do. Keep in mind that this isn't mid-journey, so you won't be limited and you won't get results that make no sense. And more importantly, you don't have to worry about stealing or borrowing images from other creators. Adobe is using its arsenal of stock images from its library to make this happen. Images that trained generative fill only borrow elements from licensed images. So it's that integration that makes Firefly such a magical tool. On the Photoshop YouTube channel, Adobe demonstrated these amazing powers by manipulating an image of a classic car into an image of salt flats and adding a reflective pool, all by using the selection tool and generative fill, which was pretty cool. But when they got the AI to stretch the image and add more landscape on either side of the base image, it calculated where the sun would be from the angle of the shadows in the base image. You can call it mind blowing, but it's way more than that. It's the power of AI. And the best part is that this tool is still in beta. So imagine what they can achieve in the next six months or in the next year. As more designers get to work and feed better prompts, the AI will thrive and do some magical things. If you're already using Photoshop, all you have to do is head over to your creative cloud and enable the beta option and you can get started. If you don't have an account, sign up for a free seven day trial and test this out. The beauty of Firefly is that Adobe has successfully plugged the AI into Photoshop. You don't need Discord like you would when you're using Midjourney. The prompt tool is a regular toolbar that looks exactly like existing toolbars in Photoshop. You don't need special keywords to get something done. 
Natural language can go a long way and help you get your creativity flowing without any barriers. And unlike Midjourney and Dolly, you won't be borrowing creativity from other artists, which is a huge issue in the generative AI business. Artists around the world have been talking about this issue as AIs like Midjourney and Dolly use data from images on the internet. Firefly's generative data is scrapped using the Adobe Stock Library. They have like 200 million images in this library, so you should be good to go. There are plenty of images, and images are added to this library every day. This library is filled with photos, illustrations, and vector graphics, so you can create fantastic new creations by using legal content. Adobe also gives you the option to opt out of your artwork from being used again to create new artwork. Basically, it's in your hands to decide how the community uses your artwork, adding a layer of protection around your work. This is a bold step by Adobe, as it tries to cull the idea that AI is only good because it borrows from human artists. While this tool is amazing, it has some drawbacks as well. Minor issues that all AIs in this generation face, like generating animals and humans, and, oh yeah, you need to be online to make generative fill work. This isn't an issue, because let's be honest, when was the last time you were truly offline? But it's only a matter of time before Adobe gets on top of this. After all, their announcement of the generative fill tool was able to push their stock price up by 3.1%. This is such an achievement, since it has been a difficult year for tech stock. With this kind of motivation, Adobe will continue to pursue and develop Firefly in the coming years. This forward leap was not something that happened overnight. Adobe has been running their AI named Sensei in the background of Photoshop and other tools on Creative Cloud to make everyday tasks easier. In Photoshop, tools you've used, like the Select Subject tool, which is smart enough to understand the main subject of a photo, are parts of Sensei. If you're an avid user, you'll also remember tools like Content Aware Fill, which needed a bit of fine tuning, and Generative is definitely taking strides in the right direction. All these tools existed way before AI was in everyone's mind, and from the looks of it, Adobe is planning a whole leap of new tools to break the barriers and make creativity available for everyone. So, is this the new Photoshop? Yeah, it is. Purists might not like this idea, as some artists believe that true art comes from suffering and working on the art for days on end. Some argue that AI tools will render art worthless, but these concerns always come to the surface when a new technology comes to play, and people have always worked around to keep industries alive and make new industries out of the ones that die. What do you think? Will this new Photoshop put graphic designers out of business, or will it employ more people to create even more crazy designs that will set off a new era of design? Or will people only employ AI to create designs and artwork? Will it make human-made, hand-drawn art priceless? These are all good questions, and we want to cover these topics in the future. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.